Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Hey everybody, here's the next piece of uh, the large cap analysis here. So this is PTON, this was on scan today. Uh, as a gapper and so I'm just going to walk you through the process again we know what the scan is and we know what we're looking for so PTON today was gapping um, and it was on the scan so first thing I did was I went straight to the five-year weekly chart and I went straight to analyzing what is the trend here it's very clear what is the trend here and if you're wondering where the rest of the information is PTON was a recent IPO so that means that only five weeks ago was the actual initial public offering of the stock but as you can see since the IPO date it's just in a big old fat downtrend and usually for these short-term IPOs I will look at the uh, the 13 EMA uh, since that will actually be calculated a lot sooner than the 50 period and the 200 period moving average that I went over so I will look at the five-year weekly chart and the trend is down now let's jump to the one year one day chart and again trend is down so today even though it is a gap up it is a potential short into a morning push okay so now i remember the pattern you want the open and then the push and again you're just looking at key intraday levels so here's the close or the opening price on the prior day Here's a bounce, here's resistance, here's another area right here around 25. Again, look at my levels. 2450 was a level that I chose, okay? That is because it is a whole half dollar mark, okay? From this day and from this day that it intersected. And then the top of this wick being 2480. And so that is why. So if you look here, 2480 was the exact top. But if you switch back to the... Uh, five-year weekly time frame you can see that 2450 was intersected here on this week almost touched on this one and uh, but I think that print is from today but it may not be uh, but again 2480 being the top here so you can see 2480 and 2450 both intersected at that point and then you jump back over to the one year one day and you can see it comes close to that level intersects it close intersects there you go so there's there's the difference now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at it intraday okay so this is PTON intraday this is a good example of when a pivot point solidifies or fortifies a resistance level okay as you can see here's a pre-market action and again remember this is a case where the line is outside the pre-market range. Obviously, pre-market highs would be right here at 2430. So ideally, you want it to stay in that range, but sometimes it won't be within this range of the, uh, that a resistance line is. But this is what the area of interest becomes. So you can see just outside the pre-market highs, there's a pivot point at 2443. And then that resistance level of 2450. So when this was pushing this morning into 2450, I had orders up here to get short. Now, I did not get filled. My actual order for the day was 2437. I never got filled. It happened to be the top, and that's fine. Uh, actually, it's not fine <laughs> because looking at the chart, it just got murdered. But again, it's okay to miss it because in the times that I chase and I don't get my entries, 
ideally, like in, in, in the times that I chase the entry, I end up would, I end up having had got, I would have, oh my gosh, I'm really struggling with that. I would have gotten the entry had I waited. There we go. My goodness, that was a struggle. Woo. So that's my general rule of thumb is when I put an entry, those are my entries unless I otherwise uh, scale it sooner. But I, I base all my orders off of that line. So that is an example of a fortifying level. Okay, this is an example of when you short the push and cover into the washout. If you're wondering what the other lines are on my chart, the little blue line right here, the dark blue one, that's just the previous closing price. And you can see I put that up here in the corner for myself to notice. This white line right here is the opening price on the day. This just helps me not pick a line that is too close to the open price because I want it, I want it to have ability to spike um, and, or wash out from the open. I don't want it to open here and then be like bleep. And then there's the line. I want to. I want the ability for it to extend uh, before I take a trade. Now, next, let's look at PINS. This was another uh, setup. And again, PINS. I actually wanted this um, long. So if we're we're going to kind of skip back here and we're going to leave off our um, uh, indicators for the most part. And eh, let's let's actually do this. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.